why Golden State should and should not trade for Kevin Durant. Good people, what's going on? It's Desmond. Welcome to, I believe, episode 35 of the All Go Podcast. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Share the video out on social media. Drop a comment. All that good stuff. I'm on a streak right now of posting a video every single day. Uh, basically, just record this while I'm on my lunchtime walk and then post it later on in the day. So, I was thinking, like, what should I talk about today? Golden State and this Kevin Durant and all the Kevin Durant trade talk. Um, I want to start by saying, number one, I don't think Kevin Durant's going to get traded. Nets are just are purposely asking for way too much. So, whatever you are offering to the Nets, they're going to ask you for something else. If you offer me Jalen Brown and, and Grant Williams and a bench player in two ones, well, they'll ask for... Well, give me Marcus Smart and another one. Like, what, whatever the case is, they're going to ask for more. So they are just asking for so much that no one's going to bite and with probably the hopes that uh, they can go back to Kevin Durant and just say, hey, man, we tried. Sorry. Nobody, uh, you know, nobody, no, no one took. So that's what I think is going to happen. But Golden State has been uh, one of the teams that people talk about um, – and for good reason. I think Golden State has a balance of potential trade pieces. Uh, with You look at the young guys that they have with Moody, Wiseman, Kaminga. They have their picks. Uh, so they do have a lot of uh, valuable pieces that I think the Nets or really any team would want. Um, but the, the thing is, is the reason that Golden State should trade for Kevin Durant is because number one, Golden State's in a in a great position as it stands today. Obviously, they've just come off winning the uh, NBA championship, and their team, for the most part, is intact. Um, they did lose uh, Gary Payton uh, Jr. and also Otto Porter, but they did sign Dante DiVincenzo, and I, I think they have enough to to get back to where they want to be. But if you trade for Kevin Durant, I think what is going to happen is. In the next four years, you can, assuming he stays, um, you can probably pencil in two championships. I, I think they would win two out of the four. Um, now, you're going to end up trading him and losing a lot of depth because those young guys are going to have to be a part of the package and your draft picks as well. So you're definitely losing something in the, in the deal, of course. Um, so that depth is going to be a big key, but as far as your starters, I mean, you're going to be in pretty good shape. I mean, that's going to be, gosh, pretty similar to the, the lineup they had when, you know, when, when Kevin Durant was last there. Um, so I, I think you pencil in two championships in the next four years, but the difficult part is, is your future, right? After those four years, what is it going to look like? It, um, you know, and also to the depth. I mean, if you're, if you're not that much better than, you know, the team that you're playing with your ones, then your twos need to be really good or at least better than the other teams. And Golden State has done a good job since, uh, you know, um, really, the, you know, Steve Kerr has been there of having a really good bench and at least one guy who can come in and perform really well. I mean, they had Sean Livingston who did really well off the bench. Um, Iggy for a while, you know, was a, a bench guy for them. And they just always seem to have a guy that's in that, that second unit that can really play and really in multiple guys in some years. So they've, they've historically done a good job in, in Steve Kerr's tenure and, and along with Steph, um, of having a really solid, uh, second unit. And you're going to, you're basically going to give that up with, uh, trading for Kevin Durant, but you know, two out of the next four championships, that would be pretty impressive. Um, the reason that they shouldn't is because that window after four seasons is going to be, if not closed, it's going to be pretty darn close to close because, you know, you, you would imagine that, you know, Steph is going gonna, is gonna to age. I mean, he's playing extremely well right now, but you know, five times undefeated, the guys aren't going to be playing until, you know, they're, everybody's not LeBron James. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, 
you know, same with Clay. He's coming off of, you know, the injury. He'll have a, a off season to actually improve and get better as a player, as opposed to rehab. Um, you know, you, you've got the young guys with James Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody. You, you, the, the ideal spot for Golden State is stay the course that they are right now. Um, and over the years, they're going to have you know different pieces come and go, but if you've got Steph, Clay, Draymond, in which Draymond is, is on some other stuff, which I might do a video on that. Um, Steph, Clay, Draymond. Um, and then now you've got, you know, Wiggins, who it looks like they're going to extend him, which is a great move. And, and then the young guys. And as you move forward, then the Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody, Poole group ideally would start to carry a little bit more of the weight of you know the scoring and just the production overall so that as Steph and, and Clay and Draymond you know essentially start to de decline and I say that loosely then Moody you know the young group plus Wiggins starts to carry a little more load and you and ideally right in a perfect world you'd be still a really good team and I think they would have the ability that if they keep those that young core that in the next, you know, eight years, maybe they can win three more championships. I have no idea, right? What if what if Kaminga, Moody, and Wiseman are as good as they're going to be right now? Like, if, well, if that's the case, then no, you're not going to win anymore. But you'd like to think those guys are going to continue to develop, play well, and um, and move on. So all in all, I, I absolutely don't think that Golden State should trade, um, trade for Kevin Durant. I get the allure of it, but... It, that, I just don't, I, I, no, I, I just don't. I, I think the Golden State's in a great spot. You know, they there's definitely some really good teams coming up in the West, including Memphis, um, but Golden State can play, and I, I think they're in a really good spot. They have a good mix of, you know, the veterans with Steph, Clay, Draymond, Wiggins, who's kind of in between, and then a, a group of young guys with um, even now DiVincenzo, uh, Kaminga, Moody, and Wiseman. So if I were the GM, I would say thanks, but no thanks. And we're moving on, but that's just me. Um, that is it for me. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Peace.